And as such, we'll continue our show here. May I use this peace and know the blessing be within the blessed yes. present Holy Queen Mother. We were talking about trust and belief. Right. And um, sometimes I, I have a tendency of trying to make, um, bring things where people have maybe have a chance to view what I'm saying or view their own experience or view themselves. I was, by Holy Apostle was speaking, I was going to laugh, but I caught myself. Um, we, I experienced one time this brother said to Holy Apostle, um, I'll follow you to the end of the earth. <laughs> you could have laughed, <laughs> but you have to explain why you laughed. And uh, <laughs> thereafter, shortly thereafter, um, Allah caused Holy Apostle to call this brother and say, hey, let's go to the park. And he was like, oh no, it's not spiritual for me. <laughs> and and another thing that you're forgetting, we were supposed to be getting some property together and move to the other side of Newark. Oh yeah. And that's what we laughed about. It oh, said yeah. this brother said he followed me to the ends of the <laughs> earth and he can't even follow me to the other end of Newark. Can't right. get across town. Huh? Yeah. Right. And a lot of you people, know, but you know, the the thing is that people have to recognize and realize that we're here for a purpose. If we can't get past the fact that um, if we can't settle in ourselves that we're here for a purpose Allah has put us here for its cause mm -hmm. and not our own cause we'll never get on the path mm -hmm. you know if you can't get past yourself then you can't get on the path because it's not it's, it's not how can I say it it's not personal but nothing about you is personal it's not about you as an individual we are created for a purpose. But what happens is we go away from that purpose and we want to be blessed. Mm -hmm. and, and then we think we are blessed because we have a job. Or we, have, like my grandmother said, let me grow old and still have my right state of mind. Or we have the material things in this world. And people say, well, I'm humble at heart and I've been blessed because I'm humble at heart. Or, I'm blessed because I give. I'm blessed because... No, 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 hmm. no. We describe blessing incorrectly. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's because if you look at that, and, and surely people misjudge people all the time by looking at what they consider a blessing. If you have a car, a brand new car, and I am pulled up in my 1988, you'll think that you've been more blessed than me because you have a newer car. Can I get... But what... Well, let me tell you, what that got to do with anything? Your car getting you to A, just like my car. If same we look at... And that's a, age, that is exactly age. why we have all these society issues. That's why we have people that want to be other people. You know, you have people that want to be like Caucasians and, and want to be like actors and everything because we think they're more blessed because they got more material gain. Blessings ain't got nothing to do with material gain. Can I, can I just add something to, to what you're saying? Uh, I remember you and I and our family. We was in a 1965 Chevrolet or something. I think it was 71. 71. It was an old. You may say, "Whoa!" It was an old <laughs> Chevrolet with the round top. You know, the big, the big Caprice, and uh, and the roof it was torn on. It had one of the vinyl roofs, and and it was torn. You know, and the car, the car was, you know, it just it was yellow and black, so you couldn't miss it. And uh, it looked bad. And, oh, and the thing about it, whatever year it was, we was far away from that year. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it was like this a 20 was like year 20-year-old car. car or 25-year-old car, whatever. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it was, it was a classic. It was going into being a classic, right? So, and it made noise. And, yeah. And, uh, but the thing about it was it gave off so much heat that you, in the winter, dead of the winter, you'd be sweating. You know, so much you had to open the window, right? Now, I had my family, I forget how many children we had at the we particular had the time. Boys. The car was full. 
of people. And uh, we drove up to a bus stop. The light stopped. Us. No, we was in front of our house. Well, we drove to the went around the corner. Drove to the bu- we drove to the bus stop. <laughs> it was a bus stop on the corner of the our house. The car was on the corner of the house, and the <laughs> bus stop was on this corner. It was just like this. She forget she forget that they moved the bus stops after since we had been living there. Um, the bus stop was on the corner. That's what I said. And we was warming up the car. On no, this no, dear, we had drove. Why you want to make an issue with this on television? <laughs> Real TV. Now the thing about it is now the issue has become what kind of what yeah. where we was at. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We was at the airport. In a very hot car. In a very hot car. Yeah. <laughs> And we stop at the edge of a plane. <laughs> this is a mutual uh, agreement, right? This is a, this is a mutual agreement. Okay. Anyway, we stop at the bus stop, and there's a group of people that was waiting for the bus to get to work. It was about eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. The, the bus stop was full. It was about two degrees outside or it was cold it was maybe below it was bone cold you know two below or something it was so cold that we had problems keeping the windows clear and the car was burning hot and um we pulls up and the roof being torn the car in such you know appearance bad appearance it was about 15 people or so and they started laughing at us and they couldn't stop they were laughing so hard. Somebody said something and they just went on. And somebody else said something and they just went on. And our window was open and steam was coming out of the car a little bit because it was so hot. And I looked at them and and one of my family members, I'm not going to say who it was, but one of my family members was crouching down trying to hide from the people that was laughing at us. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't her. <laughs> and I looked at Holy Queen and I said, and, and looked at the, the passenger in the back and said, look at that. She ashamed. I said, look at them. They outside freezing. <laughs> Ain't got a car, waiting for a bus, suffering, got icicles falling out their nose, and they laughing at us. And when my family realized the irony of the situation, we started laughing so hard and so long that we blew the light. The light changed and we were still there. Just laughing, and and we hadn't noticed that everybody on the corner got quiet <laughs> and was looking at us like, why are they laughing? You know. And you right, we did go right. <laughs> I know I'm right. I don't tell the story unless I got it right in my head. And and, and and then we pulled off, but that was the joke of the day. We just couldn't stop laughing. I said they out there freezing. I mean, it was so cold, you was hurting. And they were laughing, I guess they said, while they was laughing, it made them feel good, warm, you know, but man, I did not, I did not feel shame. And I took them in the same car. Now this is trust, and this is faith, and this is, you know, not being intimidated by what society think about you, but I took them in the same car to the Meadowlands, to the circus, because I wanted to take my children to the circus. And we on the turnpike, and all of a sudden, I start hearing something that we start hearing something that sound like a flat tire. And I was about to pull over because it was going, brrrr, but the car wasn't shaking. But the noise, it was making that noise, and we were still moving. And I said, oh, the roof then ripped because the wind caught it and ripped it all away. And when I got to the guy who takes the money for the tickets for the parking lot, the wind blew the roof, and it flew over. Hit, it hit the security stack, the security house, and flat down in front of my face. Boom! It just covered me up. I ripped that sucker down. Life is something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was in 
in shock, but when I said life is something, isn't it? And gave him the money for the ticket. <laughs> he started laughing. And we pulled on it and parked the car. And I ripped the rest of it off and let the rust be up there. <laughs> no, we let the rust be up there. For a little while. Then we went and got and it. And then I went and got spent money. To, you know, I did the royal thing. I went and got it. You know, um, the vinyl done yeah, way. not the vinyl, but I had a hard top put on. It was beautiful. It cost me two hundred fifty dollars. I got a deal, right? Back then, two hundred fifty dollars was a lot of money. And then uh, <laughs> the a day blew. later, the engine blew. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the car okay. said, "How dare you?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, that was it for that car. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we go through so many trials, man, you know. But what I was saying is that she was talking about having faith and belief and trust, you know. And I had people in my family that, that would look at me and say, well, you're the messenger of Allah. Why are we in this condition? You're the messenger of Allah. We should have better, you know. And my children used to say, oh, daddy, daddy, ain't that a nice car? Like in all the different cars we had, and I always said to them, it ain't better than this one. And they say, why? At first they say, yes it is, and I say, oh it is? Okay, go ahead over there and get in that one then. You know what I mean? And then they start saying, why it ain't better? I said, because this one is ours, and it's paid for. That's why it's better. It's better for us. And as much as you like that car over there, you can't even get in it. So it's not better. Right. This is the best for us, you know, and that's the way we have to be on the path of the way. You have to see what our easel law give you as an individual, trust that, treasure that, and don't steal from it. Don't try to turn that over to make yourself receive glory from other people, you know, but trust what our law give you, our easel give you as an individual. You know, in line with um, having trust and faith in order to have belief, um, isn't it also important to have like patience? Because people, they get in situations and um, they say they have faith, but when it's not going nowhere, they get into a tough situation. They don't have the patience most of the time to endure and wait on Aiza to give them what they need. Well, that's not patience. Patience, patience is having trust and faith and waiting for something to come about that's taken longer than you would wish. Not having faith and belief, they don't have anything to not, have, not to do with not having patience. See, if you're in a situation and somebody tell you, okay, this is gonna happen, if you don't have trust and, be and belief or faith in that, you, you're not gonna wait. So it's not, it's not that you don't have patience, you may not have patience for that because you don't trust and believe. But you may be a man full of patience. But if you don't believe something, how you gonna have how you gonna have the staying ability? You won't have that staying ability. You know, I've been around for a long time and I've been through a lot of changes and I've served serviced a lot of people, man. And and um and it's been hell on earth for me. But I've manifested patience and faith and trust in Allah, Aiza, that, you know, this is, you know, I'm doing his will, you know, of course, I, I know it's his will because I'm directly commanded by it. And I always say, if it had not held me in his direct command, I couldn't do this. Holy Queen said, well, I couldn't be you. And I would say, I couldn't be me either if it wasn't for Aiza, because I wouldn't have the strength to, to stay. You know, when I see people taking this, this thing of belief and because they believe in one part of it or they favorable to one part of it, they say that they believe. And when I say, no, you're a disbeliever, and they say, no, I'm not a disbeliever, he's making a mistake. See, I believe because I do this, I do that, I do this, that, and the other. You know, but when I introduce a furtherance to them to come near to Allah, for the most part, they show they don't believe because they can't step up into it. Because Aiza has given me the perfect way to give to the people. It has given me 
experience and, and that it didn't have to give me, but it gave it to me as a mercy to show me the beauty of it and of its perfection and its wisdom. And then I come with confidence and certainty talking to the people about it, but they say, hey man, that, you know, I can't see that. I wanted this, I want that, I want this, that, and the other. You know how it is when you want something immediately, not having patience, you know? So belief and patience is the, I'm sorry, belief and trust is the ingredient toward the patience. To have, you know, it causes you to have the patience. Well, it, well, it well, 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 I believe like this here. You need faith first. Faith, from faith comes everything else. From faith comes your trust. Some people confuse trust and faith. See, trust is from Allah and faith is from Allah. But Allah give you faith as a spirit, a powerful spirit that gives you holding power. Cause you to stick to it no matter what. In the face of things you have faith. Huh? But the trust is when it puts something in you for you to honor it. Like when you go to a trust company. You never heard of a faith company, you heard of a trust company. And you put get your money to them. So you have that trust is something that you honor. Huh? You favor it and you honor it. And that you show your trust in it. You invest yourself in it. That's what trust is. Faith is coming from Allah and it gives you trust to put in it. Now, with, after that faith, in, that, in the process of that faith, it gives you patience so that you could come to an, a knowledge and experience to believe. And as you gain more experiences in belief, you grow in all those areas of your life because of your experience. You grow in patience because Allah has shown you before. If you have patience, if you wait, you trust, have faith, I'm going to give you this or that. I'm going to give you more than what you think. I'm going to give you something that you don't know about that's going to make you happy. It's going to be a blessing for you. And when you think about blessing, bless. There's two, two words to look at. Less, having less, to be blessed, because when you deal with the law in its unity, you deal with the law in the angels, it always has something to do with death. Like Jesus said, you have to die and become reborn. And the Sufi said, you have to die before you can receive this head. You understand? So the number of deaths is four. That's the foundation. You want to get on the foundational number. You die. That means you have less of yourself to gain more of the reality. You always have to go to less of yourself. And that's where people mess up. They don't have enough faith and trust to become less of themselves. They always got to put their mind first, not think, realizing that they're not letting the law be the guide. They're being the guide. And they're selecting things and then interpreting those things and choosing those things to be guided by. And then they lie to people and say, oh, Allah has guided me because I got this from the Holy Scripture. When they're guiding themselves. So it's more of themselves and less of Allah. So they're not blessed. And also in blessing is lesson. You get lessons from surrendering yourself to the Lord Most High in His wisdom to the all wise to become less arrogant, less egotistic, less uh, um, ignorant of yourself to become more of it. You know? So that's where the connection of the word blessings come from. Holy Queen Mother had mentioned how um, people look at blessings as material things, and that's a wrong way to That's what it. she was talking about. Yeah, and like um, a lot of times a blessing can be something that other people might look at as something negative happening in your life. I mean, like I, for myself, I've been in situations where um, I had different jobs, and I thought it was going well, and I looked at it as a blessing that I got this job, and then for whatever reason, I may lose it. You know what I'm saying? What I and, always say, 
Um, and I and I hope you took what I just said as a lesson from what she was saying because this was directly connected to what she was saying about blessing. You know, when Allah give you something before you say, "Oh, I'm blessed." You better go to and ask it, why did you give this to me? See, people don't ask why. Oh, I hit the lottery! And then their life become miserable. There's people who hit the lottery, became rich, lived large for a year, and then was in debt for the rest of their life. Some went out and killed themselves accidentally having so much fun. Some ruined the lives of many people after they got the money for their own ego and arrogance. Ruined other people's lives. Kill friendships. Kill hope in other people. I mean, some ugly things have come on and they said they were blessed. But they, they didn't get less. So it's like you have to say what, why? See, if somebody gave, dropped a million dollars on me, before I run and buy a car, house, my wife address, ring, whatever, oh, Lord, what I got to do? This, this, is, this is a trial. What I got to do with this here? I know you want me to do something with this. Because a lot of responsibility comes with things that you attain as talents or gifts to this world. Responsibility comes. People don't want to fulfill their responsibility to life. We were born to praise, worship, and glorify the Lord L. People don't want to fulfill that responsibility when good comes to them in abundance. And then they steal from Allah and they act as though it is theirs. They refuse to give Allah a goodly loan of themselves and all that they thought belonged to them. So therefore, instead of being blessed with a, with a good job and all that money, you cursed. Yeah. And see, because you don't affect the law. See, if you affect the law, if you affect L, then L will straighten all this mess out. But you don't affect it. So it will let you be in your way for 20,000, 20 million years. It's not affected. It's the same thing that hold the suns, the stars in the sky, man. The same thing that manipulate the waters of the planets. Huh? The same thing that build mountains and tear mountains. That is not affected by us. So it'll let you be in your way for, for your whole lifetime. And you think you blessed until you go to his throne to be judged. Then the balance of his criterion, his commandments, come on you. He said, well, how did you fare with my messengers and my commandments? Now the big question comes, or, you know, the big fear, the terror. Oh, it isn't as merciful as I thought. Oh, it isn't as compassionate as I, oh, man, I am terrified of this thing. What is this thing? This is not a man. Oh, Lord, where's Jesus? Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus be sitting in the range ranks with the other prophets saying, hmm, what's wrong with that fool? <laughs> Don't he see he up there with Allah? I'm not going up there. Huh? Before Allah, Jesus is just another subject. Another subject. Just like all the innumerable subjects of creation. Before the throne of Allah. Jesus don't take no special place over Muhammad and Abraham and, 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 and the angel Gabriel or any of the other angels or the, or the beasts of the throne. They don't take no precedence. Jesus was created as a man, a prophet. So he don't even stand over the angels. And when the Lord said, I will make man and I will bring man into a special relationship nearer to me than the angels, it was only talking about for a moment to do a service for humanity. It wasn't talking about all the time because if that's the case, then we could command the angels. The angels are still greater than us. We got hell dealing with Satan and it's a fallen angel. One thing that I experienced that I, I have not 
spoken about is I went through a phase where I said I wanted my own life. You know, nah. I wanted. Give me five. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted. Who was you saying that to? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted. I wanted to find me, do for me, or whatever. I went through that phase, and one day, you know, and I went through this phase for for a good little time period. And one day I woke up and I was like, what do I mean? That's why I said you have to divorce mm-hmm. yourself from yourself, you know, and know that you was created for a purpose. Once I was able to say, what the heck? Then I remembered, I'm here to serve Allah only. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to serve myself. And I'm finding nothing but misery trying to serve myself. You know, the thing is, if you could divorce yourself for your, from yourself for real, and, and, and beg a lot and ask a lot, what do you want f- f- from me? And then be patient. See, that's where that patient comes in. You know, we ask a lot of things, and then if a lot don't give us an answer in 24 hours, we don't stop our business. <laughs> Less than you know, 24 sometimes. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's becoming settled the into knowing. Right. right. The first thing is you have to acknowledge the fact that a law put you here for mm-hmm. its cause. And then you have to make sure you seek a law out to find out what's your purpose. And mm-hmm. then try to fulfill that to the fullest. Mm-hmm. You know, and not get distracted with yourself. But there's something that you said that I just want to address. You know, um, that word own, that's a word that should only be relegated to the Lord L. And to nothing else. In truth, it should only be relegated to the Lord L. That's like a word of saying, like a L is is the peace, huh? The source of peace, the reality. Own should only be to a, to Aiza, you know. And 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 even the word own sounds like only one, huh? Because it's the only owner that is of of all things it owns creation all inclusive it owns everything so no nobody else own anything anything else you have that you claim that belongs to it it owns that but like it says who would give to me who would give me a goodly loan who would return what belongs to me, what I own to me. Huh? Who would come to me and serve me alone? Huh? Who would give of themselves that which I've given them of life? Give it back to me. Well, and, and it don't tell you what it's going to give you for doing that. <laughs> Huh? It's, it's, it's right. But it's trust right. me, it's, right. it's way beyond you, uh, the blessing. When uh, we talk about the mass of people and how they've been taking ownership of what they believe to be something they control, why that might explain why many people wait until they get into times of distress, when they, they come face to face with a sense of helplessness before they get serious about going uh, studying the paths of faith that even they come to understand, you know, so the mass group of people wait till they get into distress first and then when they come to ease go back to the old habits and when they people. when they when they come into distress with who they call ah uh, when they yeah. get ease ah and let me just say one this. minute go not mass of people all all people yeah. all people <laughs> thank you yeah, yeah yeah almost all because the lord is here to destroy the world today you know, we have signs of the time right now, you know, but we about, we got to go, man. And as such, we'll uh, want to depart from you. May I use this peace and other blessings be within and about your presence, all you and our television audience, as well in our And apologize audience. to them for us messing up the audio, man, because I hear that, you know, that we got some emails that our audio is being yes, Well, I, I just said it. You don't have to repeat okay. it. Okay. We apologize. Yeah, but we, you know, we're working. It's a process that we're working on diligently to... Um, yeah. Get this message out to you again, man. Jesus, peace and all the blessing be within and about your presence today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.